my peeps and welcome. Today I'm going to be painting a watercolor painting of my OCK mirror and using this sketch right here. But before we get into that, I would like to give a shout out to Mary Mint Illustrations, who is the comment of the week. Thank you so much for your comment. I really like reading all those comments. And if you would like to be the comment of the week, all you have to do is comment under any video. That could have been you. I also have a Patreon where you can get early access to videos, bi-weekly, sketch dump, and extra little behind the scenes things, and an Etsy shop and a coffee. Links to all of those are in the description if you're interested. But anyways, I feel like I've been saying quite a lot recently that I've been struggling with art block. It's kind of been on and off for the past few months and that was the case this week. I was really struggling to just get started on something. Sometimes when I'm in a bit of a funk when it comes to drawing, it helps me to just switch whatever material that I'm using. And the thing that helped me this particular time was switching from ballpoint pen in my sketchbook to just a regular mechanical pencil. Because I've been sketching with a ballpoint pen in my sketchbook for a few months now, I think. I do really like sketching with ballpoint pen, but you can't erase. I found that that was like one of the things that was kind of holding me back and preventing me from like taking risks in my sketchbook and also from just wanting to draw stuff in my sketchbook in general because when I would go to do something with ballpoint pen it wouldn't turn out as I wanted and I couldn't erase it so I would just be like you know what I'm just gonna do something else so switching to a mechanical pencil was really helpful and I was able to sketch a whole bunch and suddenly I was just struck with just a crap ton of inspiration and I did like a whole bunch of drawings and I even did some writing. That was really really nice. I also watched a video on I think it was TikTok of this lady giving a tutorial on how to mix colors with gouache and I don't have any gouache that is usable at the moment. My Holbein gouache set is all dried up unfortunately because somebody wasn't using it it was me i wasn't using it and that's all dried up but anyways i was like let me take those techniques that i learned in that video and apply them to watercolor and i'm so glad that i did because this painting i feel turned out pretty well i really like the color palette everything looks more unified which is something i struggle with sometimes with traditional art is making my color palettes look unified and that's mostly due to the fact that I just don't go in with a predetermined idea all the time which I do that with digital art as well but of course with digital art you can always change things up if you don't like it or rather it's easier to change things up. I think I saved the video the tutorial I'm talking about so if I did hopefully I'll be able to link it in the description so you can watch it but one of the tips that she gave was to just like pick a unifying color for the entire palette and mix that color into all the other colors that you use and that was super helpful. I also paid close attention to how she layered different colors in the painting that she did she was like painting like a foggy scene and while the scene that i wanted to paint wasn't supposed to be foggy i was kind of still following my memory of the tutorial closely because i wasn't watching the tutorial while i was painting but because i used a similar like unifying color so to speak for this palette it did end up looking kind of foggy or a little more gray than i had envisioned but it's fine i do like how it turned out still i also went into this painting process with the idea that it is totally okay for me to take my time i tend to rush pieces quite a lot especially traditional stuff because that's stuff i have to do sitting down at my desk usually and i'm just like oh i just want to go ahead and finish this so i can go sit down somewhere or lay down rather so i was like i'm really going to t that was my shoulder that was wild anyways I was like, I'm not going to rush any part of this. And there was a point when my battery on my camera was about to die. And normally I would like really start rushing. But I was like, nope, I'm just going to charge the battery and hold up and finish when it's done instead of rushing. And I'm really, really glad that I did that. And also because I was really taking my time, I was a little more mindful and patient when it came to layering, which I just still use layering in my watercolor paintings uh, in general, uh, even when I'm maybe rushing it a little bit. But this time I was really a lot more mindful with the layering and uh, paying close attention to how I was laying colors and just really just taking my time with it was just turns out that just gives you better results who would have guessed <laughs> i saw in another video unfortunately i can't remember where exactly 
I saw that one, but I saw a video where someone was testing cheap versus expensive watercolors on cheap versus expensive watercolor paper. And the results were that regardless of the quality of the paints that you use, if you use a really nice high quality paper, they will tend to look a little better. And I realized I've been kind of doing it backwards <laughs> based on those metrics or results. I have cheap watercolor paper and some nice Holbein watercolors. And it made me wonder, am I like just goofing around and wasting those like nice paints on this cheap paper? Maybe. I may in the future invest in some better quality watercolor paper. I'm currently using the Kenson XL watercolor paper which is pretty nice and I think a nice paper to start with. It's not that expensive. I haven't bought it any in quite a while though and the last time I bought it I think it was about like five dollars for a pack of like a pad of like 30 sheets I think. And I think I got it from Walmart. It's been it's been like a few years. I haven't bought any new papers in quite a while but anyways I'm like really interested now in investing in some better quality paper and seeing how it differs from what I typically use I have tried like fluid watercolor paper before and I do recall it being pretty nice I had the hot press watercolor block but I got rid of it because it was made with gelatin sizing and I'm Muslim and I didn't know if the gelatin was pork or not so I got rid of it. <laughs> and I couldn't find anything online on what type of gelatin it was, so that's unfortunate. But I would definitely would like to try a different paper. Well, the one I hear the most about is Arches watercolor paper, but I know that it is quite expensive. I'm not sure if I'm ready for that big of a leap just yet, but who knows. Speaking of trying new art supplies, I ordered the Hemi Gouache set and I'm super excited. It hasn't come just yet at the time of me recording this, but it should be here by the time you're watching this. And I plan on making a video about it next week. So if you would like to catch that, you can subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know when that comes out. But I'm super excited and now that I've watched that tutorial on how to mix colors, which it was like a gouache tutorial, I'm like super excited and I feel a little more prepared, especially since I haven't used gouache in a minute. The only thing is I'm not 100% sure what I will paint. I do have a gouache painting that I painted like a couple, maybe even longer than a couple of years ago that would be nice to recreate, but it was kind of ambitious. Like it had glowy elements. So I might not do that as like my first painting with these new gouaches, gouaches, paints? Wash paints? I feel like that's probably more correct than gouaches. Since I was trying to get out of my usual routine and just the normal way I typically do things, I decided to not do line art with a ballpoint pen initially like I normally do right after the sketch. Instead, I just painted and then waited till after I finished painting to do line art with a Prismacolor pencil. Or should I say Prismacolor pencils because I got a bunch of them and did different colors for different parts which is not something I typically do because that's just it's more effort. <laughs> and plus because I, I don't mind the look of just flat color lines but it was nice to do something a little out of my comfort zone and I just I really like how this painting turned out and I really like the colors. There's even like some granulation in the background because I mixed like a vermilion with a blue color and the vermilion doesn't mix very well with blues for whatever reason. So it kind of separated just a little bit, but it looks, it looks cool. I like it. I feel like I could have done a better job with his tattoos though. I finalized the design for them, I think last year, but I've been, see, I've been thinking and now I'm like, well, maybe I should change it. It like took me the longest time to like finally finalize something for them, but now I don't think it fits him anymore. So I'm still trying to figure out how it, how it should look. And I was thinking about adding some plant elements. I don't think I like how it looks here. <laughs> I did like some sketches of it in my sketchbook and I liked how it looked a little better there, but those sketches were quite messy and not colored. It definitely still needs to be workshopped some more, but for now, it's okay, I guess. But anyways, I had a lot of fun with it. This is how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I hope you like the colors as well. 
I hope this tutorial paid off. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Shout out to my patrons, Mary Mint Illustrations, Sister Donna 55, Kelsey, and a Spooky Rose. Thanks so much for being my patrons. I really appreciate you and everything that you do. Wow. Oh my goodness. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Here's some more videos for you to watch, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.